Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. This is another one that I got done at that crop and this one took me again under an hour. I think it was like 58 minutes and these are pictures from Crop and Create from 2017 and every time that we have gone my friend and I, Ev and I, we stay at the hotel even though we're from the city that is putting on Crop and Create and uh, because then we're staying at a hotel then we gotta go out for lunch which Crop and Create do provide one meal I believe and a few snacks but one of the days we always go there's um, it's like a pub that's right across the hotel where we're staying and that's also where Crop and Create is and oh, they serve the best food and every time we go over and uh, we have a meal there and actually last year the first night we also went um, out for supper and we went out for supper with a few girls from our table so that was really fun and there's a uh, barb so barb if you're listening uh, hopefully we'll we'll get to go out for a meal soon again um, so the night before we had gone to Mexicali Rosa that's where we had uh, went with a few people from our table so there was um, Barb and Rachel and myself and Ev and a few other people and we had the food was really good there too and uh, so we had a, a meal there and then another time that we went is the the pub that I was talking about actually both of them are pubs and um, it's called Old Triangle and I love their seafood chowder and every time we go I don't get something else I just get the seafood chowder because I absolutely love it so I know Crop and Create is in a couple of months and I know we're going to be going again because the food is so yummy so I took a picture of my plate that's they serve it to you in this really cool looking bowl it's like you know weirdly shaped and then uh, also like a tea biscuit and they're oh, by the time you're finished eating it you're so full because it's so filling and it's so yummy and uh, so I took a picture of that and then I took a picture of just um, my spot at Crop and Create because the title of this I'm going to call Crop and Fun. So the first picture is the crop part and the se second picture is the fun part where we go and eat some, you know, yummy foods. So I put my photos side by side and they were both four by four photos and that's how I got them printed and then I mounted them on some brown cardstock and I mounted it in the mid middle of the cardstock that way I can use that brown cardstock for something else and then I'm going to use this pattern paper here and it's just like it looks like a wood grain and it's a nice brown cards uh, pattern paper and I'm going to use that as my background I can't remember who made that pattern paper it looks like it came from a big paper pad so probably like either Maggie Holmes or um, I don't think it's an Amy Tangerine usually Amy Tangerine doesn't have any kind of uh, things like that so probably crate paper Maggie Holmes or something like that and then there's another pattern paper it's a grid yellow grid and I'm pretty sure that's a Stampin Up pattern paper from way way back and I cut about a strip of six inches and now I'm looking at some more grid pattern paper just before I left for, for the crop I remembered that the last time I had gone to a crop I didn't have any grid pattern papers or um, like writing pattern patterns so that I could you know cut a piece and do my journaling on so just before I left I grabbed maybe 10 to 12 sheets of different um, grids and line paper so that I could use that for my journaling and in my scrap room I keep that kind of pattern paper all together so it made it really easy to just kind of quickly grab that and then be on my way so now I'm going to use these um, alphas and I believe are they from Studio Calico 
no, not Studio Calico. It's um, Cosmo Cricket, and they're super old alphas chipboard. And um, I'm going to spell out crop and fun. And then I'm taking everything that I had put with this page kit, and I'm going to start making little clusters. Now I have to say, this layout ended up being kind of, you know, simple. There's not a lot per in my cluster. But sometimes it's nice to just be able to do uh, you know, a quick, fun layout. And especially when you're sitting down at a crop and you're doing you know, 15, 20, or however many pages you put out, it's nice to be able to say, okay, you know, let's just do this page you know, with not too, too much stuff. Probably at home, I probably could have gotten that page done in probably half an hour because it's not super complicated at all but sitting at a crop I find you know you do a lot of chatting and um, that weekend I watched over a season no almost the entire first season of this is us so I was watching a lot on my iPad <laughs> which I totally enjoyed but I think next time I go to a crop, I'm not even, I'm going to bring it for at nighttime. I like to watch a few things before I go to sleep, but I'm not even going to take it to the floor because I want to make sure that, you know, I just spend time chatting with my friend, Ev, <laughs> and and my friend Monique is coming too. And, you know, and France, um, she came with us two years ago. My friend Karen can't come because she's a snowbird now. She lives uh, south in the summer so <laughs> hopefully I'll see her in April at another crop but um, so you know I just want to be able to sort of chat with uh, the people at the crop I used that 12 by 12 cardstock that I had gutted out the inside and I cut two little strips about an eighth of an inch each and I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom of that grid yellow uh, pattern paper then I decided to cut another almost four by four, but I'm going to tuck it underneath uh, the photos of that another grid paper, but the grids are a little smaller and they were white and brown, I believe, the lines. And I'm going to do my journaling on that. And I don't know why I felt like I needed something else to do my journaling because that yellow pattern paper would have been fine. I just wanted that other layers to, you know, uh, give me somewhere that I can um, put my embellishments and just to add a little bit more interest. I ink the edges using um, probably gathered twigs to all the pattern papers and the embellishments. And then I'm going to start putting it, it together because I know what I want as the base of the layout so now I can start putting everything together. I'm going to add some foam tape and that's 3M foam tape. Um, I get it in the big rolls. I got mine I got mine on Amazon and sometimes it's not at a good price and you just got to keep watching it but you can also buy it at Simon Says Stamp. Now I added wanted to add a little bit more color. I want to add more yellow so I had brought a few washi tapes with me at the crop not too too much I think about 10 or 12 rolls and I just tried to make sure that I had you know colors that I had in my page kits so I had this yellow polka dot washi tape I put it at the top and the bottom of the photos and I just put it so that it was above the photo and not above the journaling I just wanted it to make it um, really focus on the photos that way it's almost like another another mat under the photos except it's not paper it's washi tape and now i'm going to add those two little strips and to add that on because it's so tiny i can't use my atg gun because it would go beyond the little strip i have my glue 
in a fine line bottle. Now I had someone ask me uh, where you can get those. Um, you can get them on Amazon and you can also, I got mine at Simon Says Stamp and they come in a package of two. Now I have to say I like the fine line bottle with the yellow top much better than the other one because I find the other one, it's super, super small and the glue doesn't come out at all. And the glue that I put in there, my glue of choice is Scotch quick dry adhesive it's not called that anymore but it's the same thing and you can get it at Michael's so now it's the time where you know I know what my background is going to be so it's start time to start putting my title together and all the embellishment clusters and while I'm doing that because it's going to take me a few minutes by the way I was like doing my voiceover and all of a sudden it was like hmm the page is not done but um I'm out of video. I forgot to download one extra little video. So I guess this page took me an hour and 20 minutes, which like I said, it's so simple, but it's just the, the chatting and everything while you're doing the page does take a little longer. So while I'm doing that, while I'm putting the rest of the page together, I just want to let you know a little bit what I've been working on. So first of all, if you saw, I think it was a couple of videos ago, I talked about my dot journal, my bullet journal, and it's going to be a way that I'm going to track all the books that I'm reading. And then I said that I had gotten a new one and I was going to do my goals. Well, I've, I'm so addicted to this. This is so fun to do. So probably in the next few days, um, you'll see, uh, I'll be uploading a video of me working on this. Um, I did one for um, my goals for my books because, you know, I want to read X amount of books and all this stuff. And then I have a section that I'm, I did my scrappy goals. And then my last section is going to be my life goals. And that's going to be all in one book. And it's so fun. And I'm the type of person that really likes um, list and, you know, scratching some something off. And this is totally going to help with that and my third one that i'm going to be working on i still have to order it so it's going to be in a few weeks but it's going to be my tv shows that i watch i like to keep track of that because usually i will watch a show for a while until i'm caught up and then i might not watch it again for a few seasons so it's nice to know what season i'm on Right now, I'm already on my eighth book that I'm reading this year. Right now, I'm reading two books at once. Um, I'm reading First We Were Four. I think it's Alexandra Sirui or Alexa Alexander Sirui. I don't have the... Alexandra. Um, and that's sort of a young adult mystery thriller. I'm about half, almost... I'm 40% in, so almost halfway through. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. Um, it hasn't really got into any kind of the action yet. So um, I'm going to be reading almost 100 page today. So I'll be doing some progress on that. And the other book I'm reading, I start reading the Royals by Aaron Watt series. And I'm on the third book and I'm about 20% on that one. So I'm just reading a little bit out of that one every day. And the show I'm watching, I got to tell you about the show I'm watching. It's on Netflix and it's called Glitch. I absolutely love it. If you have Netflix, it's only got 14 shows right now. It's got two series, two seasons, but it's only seven, um, seven shows a season it's super good I'm really enjoying it so I'm almost done that so that's the show I'm watching and I'm working on my next class so that will be released on January 31st is my date that I have in my mind that is going to be released so I'll be talking about that a little bit more in the next week or so and so yeah i put all the embellishments together i'm adding some enamel dots and that's going to complete this layout stay tuned for some close-ups of the layout and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe 
and if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below and i want to thank you so much for watching bye